Good evening, my dear ones. How are you tonight? Are you ready for action? <clears throat> Two days and we finish the week, okay? Two days and we finish the week, seven days and we finish the course. Okay, so ask your human resource office to send the documents. Tomorrow is the 10th. Okay, they will be receiving the documents. So please don't forget so that in the next registration you participate. Okay, please, please remember, they asked me to remind you because they consider that if it is too late, you won't be able to participate in the groups. So tomorrow they will be receiving still, okay? Let's see, good evening, everyone. Today is <clears throat> December the 9th. This is class 19 and tonight, we're going to be working on analyzing production costs of a product. This is what people call a cost accounting, cost accounting. So we're going to be working on some of that. Welcome to your English class. This is the general objective. This is, these are the specific objectives. And tonight, yeah, over here, I think that the other ones. Okay, and over here, this is to, tonight's objectives, okay? Let's see. Students will be able to calculate costs of a product. My dear ones, the agenda for tonight is we're going to be working on a matching. It says review and, dis and discussion. <laughs> I didn't change much. We're going to be uh, reviewing and discussing first part. Vocabulary, yes, is the second. Process description, then we'll have a reading, and then we work on setting the price. Setting the price. The reading is about setting the price. Okay, before we begin, let's see who is present. Let's go to this. Anaselmi Chavez. Anadelmi Carranza de Guzman. Okay. Eh, Danny Anthony Siguenza. Danny Sadalberto Fuentes. Present. Excellent. Nice. Eduardo Ernesto Hernández. <coughs> Present teacher. Thank you. Yes. Uh, Jose Carlos Argueta. Jose Ignacio Franco. Jose Norberto Velázquez. Karina Beatriz Díaz. Karina Elizabeth Villeda. Present teacher. Excellent, Karen. Welcome on board. Carla Veronica Vasquez. Present. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Carlita. Welcome on board. Thank you. Maria M. Catalina de Rosales. Okay. 
Marvin Alexander Bonilla, Miriam Claribel Jacobo, Pedrina Iliana Gómez. Present teacher. Excellent. Welcome on board, Pedrina. Pamela Beatriz Posada. Good evening. Uh, good evening, present. Good evening, Pam. Yes. René Osvaldo Bonilla. Ricardo Alexis Fuentes. Present, teacher. Excellent. Welcome on board, my friend. Chanira Guadalupe Gómez. And Rudy Josué Flores. Present teacher, good evening. Good evening, Rudy. Welcome on board. Nice teacher. Thank you, teacher. Yes, of course. No problem. Okay, let's begin, my friends. Let's begin. <clears throat> okay, in the warm up, we have review and discussion. Okay. So, Look at the examples in the box. Indirect information questions are not introduced by if, okay? As we studied yesterday, right? Instead, they are introduced with a WH word. Why? If the question be, is a yes, no question, means that you answer, yes, I do, no, I don't, yes, I can, no, I can't, or, Yes, I will, no, I won't, etc. A yes, no question is introduced by if. Do you know if Maria is at home? The question is, is Maria at home? So do you know if Maria is at home? Okay, so that is a yes, no question, but an indirect, okay, we say information question is, where does Maria live? Do you know? Do you know where Maria lives? Okay. Uh, my boss is calling you. Uh, really? What does he want? Indirect question. Do you know what he wants? Do you know what he wants? Okay. So that is an information question. Information questions begin with what, where, when, which, etc. Example number one. I wonder what the two pieces I need to weld are. Okay, original, what are the two pieces I need to weld? Okay, number two. I'd like to know when the provider will send the orders of screws. Original, when will the provider send the order of screws? Teacher, what are screws? Tornillos. Screws are tornillos, right? So, number one, in the other part, would you mind telling us how much the provider charges to process the order? Original question, how much does the provider charge to process the order? Number two, would you let me know what time the first batch is expected to be complete? Original question, what time is the first batch expected to be complete? Okay, reminders. Helping verbs like do, does, and did are eliminated from the original question, right? They are not included in indirect WH or if questions. If the introductory segment is a phrase like I'd like to know or I wonder, we use a period at the end of the sentence or at the end of the indirect question. But if the question, I mean, if it's a question, the one that introduces, uh, let's say the indirect question, like, would you mind telling us? Would you let me know? Then we use a question mark at the end, okay? So for this, let's look at the board. 
<clears throat> let's look at the board for this. Okay, let's see. Okay, this is something like this. Um, let me see if I have the right color now. The right color is going to be white. Okay, check over here. We want to introduce with I wonder. I wonder now, I wonder. You remember the meaning of I wonder, right? Me pregunto. Okay, I wonder. This would be the introduction. And the, the original question is, Is Mary sick? Is Mary sick? What does my boss want? Okay. So we have the two. Now, together, we say like this. We're going to say A. Maybe they are too small. So let's make it bigger. Yeah. For me, it's okay, but maybe for you, no. For you, it isn't okay. Maybe like this is better. Okay. Okay, so for this, I'm going to move and I'm going to eliminate, no, I'm going to move this one here. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, check over here. Okay. Now you can see it better, right? We say like this. Question A is, I wonder uh, if Mary is sick. I wonder if Mary is sick. B, I wonder What my boss wants this time. Notice that the two finish with a period because they are embedded questions in sentences. So I wonder if, my, if Mary is sick. I wonder what my boss wants this time. Now, uh, we have, can you tell me and the same questions? Can you tell me and the same questions? What are the same questions? Is Mary sick? What does my boss want this time? And then you have, can you tell me or Instead of, can you tell me, I think that is much better, do you know? Do you know? So I'm going to change the other one. Do you know? Okay. Because. Do you know if Mary is sick? Notice that because it's a question, we finish it with a question mark. Do you know if Mary is sick? And B, 
do you know what my boss wants this time? Okay, do you know what my boss wants this time? It means that the boss has been calling me regularly this, I mean, this morning. Okay, so if, if the question begins with an auxiliary, does she speak English? Do you know if she speaks English? Can she cook? Do you know if she can cook? Okay, a WH word, depending on what the question is. Where does she work? Do you know where she works? Where does she live? Do you know where she lives? Okay, so things like this. All right, my dear ones, let's move on. Now we're going to discuss these questions. For this one, I'm going to send you to the groups. Okay, right now, <laughs> Jose Carlos says, teacher, I'm here. <laughs> yes, Jose Carlos, I can see you. It's all right. Yeah, it's because when you pass the attendant, my, my internet was off. Don't worry, don't worry. I'm going to write press. Okay, let's see. Uh, I'm going to stop presenting. This is page nine, page nine, okay? And uh, I'm, we're, I'm going to create the groups. We are not many tonight. We are only 13, so means you are only 12. 12 people are present, okay? So, I'm going to create three groups just in case. Let me see, four, because I don't know. Okay, I'm going to have faith and I'm going to create four groups. Groups are beginning right now. Anita. Hi, teacher. Hello. Present. Late, but present. <laughs> hello. Yes, hello, Anita. Welcome on board. Hello. Thanks, it's, teacher. It's very good to have you. Okay. It's very good. Yeah. Excellent. Yes. Teacher. Tell me. My Anita. internet. My internet go went out. Uh huh. And I will return. I don't have the the option to the. To, to enter. Don't worry, I'm going to add you to a group that needs you. Let me see okay. how to find a group where you are needed. Somebody left in group three. Then I don't remember who. Somebody left. Who left? I have no idea. But I'm going to add you to group three. Okay. Okay. Now, ah, Rudy had gone out. <laughs> okay. Then in that case, no, because. Uh, I don't want a to, uh, I don't I, I don't want uh, I don't want you to where you're needed. So I'm going to send you my friend to the group that is smaller, number four. Okay. So let's go to four. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. All right. No, no, never. Never. Well, yeah, and um, I remember well in, in the school in in the school, and um, it uh, it's a kind of tour. I don't know, but what subject exactly? But I never, I never have that kind of tour. That's the 
I have a, a friends that many times uh, visited uh, Coca Cola in the Hapa last as a as a tour in uh, when was when were they in the school? Uh, they were the school, but no, I never, I have okay. never visited. Um, Ricardo or never visit. Okay, in your own words, how is an assembly line? Number nine. This is the activity, Carlita. Okay. No. No. Is page nine of discussion of the following question? The activity have five questions. Questions. Yes. I know this is the other. I'm sorry, <laughs> teacher. I confused the day, the presentation. I'm sorry. Last presentation. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, no problem. I'm sorry. <laughs> but I sent it at noon today, like about. Yeah. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, right. but in this moment, yeah, I, I try to. Uh, this is the number. Mm. What is number? In my friend. Class 19, today this is class. Yes, this is right. Yes, class 19 and uh, okay. page 9. Page 9. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Thank you. Okay, yes, this is right. This is Carlita. Okay. Okay. Have you ever visited an assembly plant, Carlita? Um, no, never. Because in the production lines, following different steps, like stations. For example, if you are creating um, maybe a bed. Yeah. You need the assembly line. Uh, in the production line, you start with uh, the base, with the wood. And then you add the, the, the foam or the, the, the cotton, the clothes, and, and that's it. In, like in a, like, mm, a machines and, and workers then in, in balls, workers in a factory mm, that a product moves in a, I don't know. <laughs> From the beginning, okay, but from the beginning, to yeah, the but end, I at got the end of the process, the, the process is complete. Yeah, I'm the the my, yeah, I think almost the same that I told you. <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe. <laughs> yeah. number three. I don't know nothing about it. But I... Let me okay. see. Ah, uh, Pedrina. Do you want to participate? Maybe yes, maybe not. Okay. That, that number two is Jose Carlos. Okay, do you agree that regardless 
of the size of a business. Analyzing cost is essential to make a profit. Do you agree that regardless of the size of a business, analyzing, analyzing cost is essential to make profit? Mm, do you agree? Yeah. Okay. Hello. And and when when I when I visit that that place, I like because um, I discovered and I know the the, the production. Mm. How prepare the the packets to the yeah. export? Acne food. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you? you? You, Guadalupe? No, I never visited. No? No. Okay. In my case, is uh, my job in my, in my company, I have the different, the different product assembly in the process, the, the injection process, uh, inject in the process injection and extrusion and insert or the paramedic pain for the how hand under no. mango de madera or what the wood handles wood handle yeah Wooden handle. Wooden handle. Handle. Yeah. Trapeador, ¿cómo se llama trapeador? Mops. 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 Yeah, yeah, mops. Mops. En other, en other product, product, product. Okay. En el micro que no está. Number two. In your Award. In your For own example, words, yeah. come back. In your own words, how is assembly line different from the production line? Okay. Uh, I think the assembly line is when the, the production uh, is about an with parts and some balls. These parts and create a new product. But they divide in, in parts. And the production line possible, I think, is when they have a They have a production to start uh, and then state by state finish. I uh, similar, but I don't know if, if I write. <laughs> no. Tell me. Hello. Hello. Uh, in your own, in your own words, how is an assemble line different from production line? In your the second question. Yes, the same. In your in your our world, how is in assemb assembly the different from a product line? In my world, in my world, no, no assembly the different production line. But, eh, in your opinion, what is the difference for assembly line 
and production line. Um, um, what is better for me? No, what is the difference? Um, Mm. La diferencia de ensamblado y la producción en línea, algo así. Yes, yes. Um, the uh, ensamble is pre presencial. Algo así uh -huh. entiendo. Uh, that is work in an assembled plant. Yeah. In your own words, how is the assemble line different from the production line? Yes. Uh, for example, the Tony brush is uh hand and plastic for insert the monofilament but similar or the team brush is or assemble in base plastic base and the other is assemble the broom. Broom, for example, the base plastic or monofilament and insert and baking the baking in in a box. Inside the wood handler. Also, you need to do a. You need to have the the profit. The profit. Um, I don't know if Ignacio has another answer to the number five. Sorry, be, because I am coming too late, but. Yes, but if, well, the, um, the question is if, if you can name three fixed expense to calculate yeah. the cost, yeah? The, the cost production, um, but uh, the price, the, the price depend of the, com the com competition competition because um, the company maybe uh, will want te gustaría like like <laughs> I'm sorry would like gustaría would like, would like, yes. like. Would like to get high profit yeah. But depend if the price the price is um, reasonable Re in the market. Reasonable, right. reasonable, right or reasonable? Mm -hmm. Okay, reasonable in the market. But yes, the, when when you analyze the cost, you are analyze the life of the business because it's a yeah. part of important for some business or some uh, companies. Yes, and the, the size of a business, um, the, the main problem in the case, the small business or emprendedores, uh, how do you say emprendedores? Entrepreneurship. Entrepreneurship. Mm -hmm is uh, when the cost is high, higher in compared with the big company. And it's, it's a big problem for um, 
business going? Going business, no, going business. Okay, Negocio en marcha, going. Ah, for ongoing business. Mm -hmm. ongoing, ongoing business, business. for ongoing business, yeah. Yeah, uh, analyzing the cost gives you the ability to know the status of the business. Yeah, yes, I agree with you, Rita. Yes. Have you ever calculated the price of a product? I tried. <laughs> yes, I tried. For academic, maybe, but I tried. <laughs> yes. Yeah, but it's not easy. It's not easy the process for the, the, the determinate the price. They price you can determine when you have the analysis. Yet, is a French does, she, does she live here in El Salvador? Yeah, we live here in El Salvador. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yes, man, thank you. So when, when we decided to... Sorry, teacher. Well, sorry, teacher. We finished uh -huh. the, the year. Oh. Yeah, we, go, <laughs> we decided the Eliat name for my. The next, have you ever calculated the price of the product? Yeah, in my case, or development or the complement for the parliament in. Design and development for new product, or analyzing the the last line in different codes on different month or ¿cómo sería temporada? Or season. Season. Oh, season. Season in um, the different. Price. Yes. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's continue now that the fourteen are out. Let's continue. <laughs> okay. It says, go online and find out more about key terms related to an assembly line. Okay. Um, actually, first, let's go over the pronunciation. Uh, for the moment, I'm going to silence the uh, most because I can hear television and I can hear other things. And uh, for the quality of the video, when you study it later, it's better if we have more quietness, okay? Let's see. We have conveyor belt, conveyor belt, manual labor, bulk production, machine hours, uh, I'm not going to explain right now the meanings because we're going to work on that, okay? Here we go. What do we have to do? Match. Match, conveyor belt, bulk production, manual labor, machine hour with the pictures. Let's see. Uh, the the manual labor is the one picture one 
Okay. Picture one is manual labor. Yes. Yes. Excellent. Put one. Okay. Nice. And conveyor, conveyor bear is number three. Number three. Yes. Yeah. Conveyor belt is number three. Yes. Okay. Another one. Bull production. Number four. Bull production is number four. Yes. Yeah. Okay. The machine out. It's difficult. Uh, number two. Number two. Mm -hmm. Number two. Okay. And you say, now, teacher, you will explain the meaning. No. You will. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's check. Okay. Good job. Let's move on. Uh, who wants to read the first definition? Thank you, Guadalupe. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Guadalupe says, hey, why me? Okay. Yes. Please, please read A, right? Okay. It's a measure use the Atli factory overhead to manufacture a good. It is most applicable in machine intensive environment where the around amount of time spent in process, processing by a machine is the largest activity upon, 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 upon which, which? Uh, which over had allocation can be based. Okay, so, we get from this. Number one, we see a measurement. It's applied in a factory. It's a bell production. For manufactured goods. <laughs> Applicable when the environments are machine intensive. Okay, so there is a lot of time processing, right? So, all of that? Machine hour. Machine hour. Mm -hmm. exactly. Orometer in Spanish. Sorry? In Spanish, it is orometro, right? Orometro. No idea, my friend. No idea. <laughs> Thank you for the, the piece of information. Machine Hour. She now. Okay. I'm going to put it in Christian. I'm going to put it in Christian here. Okay. I'm going to simplify it for you. Machine hour is you calculate how much uh, it costs you to use a machine for one hour. And that, that cost is added to the cost of production, right? So, um, of course, not to a single product. <laughs> if you added the, the machine hour to a single product, forget it. No, it's to the whole batch. To What is the batch? The complete uh, bulk, the complete, well, the Bulk production is the product already finished that you already, you're already sending, sending out. But no, over here we say the batch, the complete batch. Batch would be lote, lote, right? The whole batch. So if you're talking about the whole batch, imagine that you have, uh, you spend, uh, to say something, $50 per hour for the machine. But you have um, easily, you make 300 items in one hour. You're going to divide $50, okay? Uh, let's say by the 300 products that you have. So you're going to be giving this percentage to each of the product. 
in the final price for each item. That is machine hour, okay? Now, the other one. Um, did I confuse you or is it clear? Hmm? Okay. I is clear. All right. Clear as the chocolate. As clear as horchata, okay? As clear as chocolate, right? Okay, so of course. Okay, so my friends, what do we say for the second? Who wants to be the, do the second? One volunteer? Manual labor? Manual labor. Okay, manual labor is work involving the hands as opposed to an office job. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, of course. Okay, okay. Now, my dear ones, the next one. Okay, who wants to read the next one? It's simple the casual production. So when we refer ref, 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 bulk production in meanings, actual production or, or final production. Bulk production is the final production being pro produced based of the actual order re requirements. Requirement. It, is the, it is the final and actual production that is plain to be shaped, sheep, I don't know. Planned to be shipped. Planned to be shipped. Ship. Ship. Is, planned, is planned to be shipped. Uh -huh. Exactly. So what are we talking about here? It is the final and actual production, right? So what is that? What is he referring to? Both productions. Exactly. Teacher to be, yeah. Okay. I'm going to make it, if it is possible to make it smaller. And we say, yes, it is possible. Okay. So, bulk production is simply the actual production. Production that we already have, the one that we are going to send in the trucks, right? So, when we reference, when we reference bulk production, it means actual production or final production. Bulk production is the final product being produced based on the actual order requirements. It is the final and actual production that is planned to be shipped. Okay, so that would be the idea. All right, the next one, my dear ones. The last one, one volunteer. teacher yes please go ahead sure uh, it's a continuous moving strip or surface that you said in the process of producing good in a factory and for transport transporting transporting transporting, transporting. transporting. okay so conveyor yeah a conveyor belt the conveyor belt This one, I'm going to make it bigger. Yeah. Okay, okay. So, yes. Teacher, what is a strip? A strip is a piece. So, you say that it's a continuous moving strip or surface. 
uh, you have supermarket at the supermarket when they are checking out the products. You see that there is a band, there is a band that is pulling the products, right? For the lady to be checking them out. So that is uh, the strip of surf or surface. Uh, that is used in the process of producing goods in a factory or for transporting, okay? So that would be the other one. Yeah. Okay, okay. continue my friends. So here we have the four words, machine hour, manual labor, bulk production, conveyor belt. Talking about these guys over here. We have first manual, manual labor, our, okay, machine hour, conveyor belt, and uh, bulk production, okay? Yeah. So now this, this is your job. <laughs> this is what you're going to be doing. What I, you're going to be matching the words and their meanings. Uh, I'm going to be reading for you, for you to check the pronunciation, but then you're going to be working in the group. Weld, okay, check, weld, yeah, welding, then yeah. screw, screw, tighten, tighten, adjust, to adjust is to move, to adapt, okay? A screw is a, a piece of metal with certain, uh, I don't know, like uh, runes, certain runes on the sides for you to fix two pieces together, okay? So uh, to move an object slightly so that it is in the right place, Teacher, is yes, screw this noun or is a verb? Screw. Both. Two. Ah, okay. And it's also dangerous language. So we have to be careful how we use it. Okay, it's dangerous language too. Okay. Screw is tornillo, tornillo, but it means a tornillar screw, right? Yeah. Exactly. So uh, then it says, to move an object slightly so that it is in the right place or it fits better, okay? To turn an object as a screw until it is tight and it cannot be turned, here has to be either turned anymore, okay? The next one, to join two pieces of metal or plastic by heating so the edges come together, okay? A pointed piece of metal with a twisted part on it called thread. Instead of hitting with a hammer, you push and turn in or turn in order to fasten pieces of metal or wood together. To attach one surface to another using a screw. Okay, now this is what you're going to be doing, but extra vocabulary, snap in place, snap in place, drive a nail into the wood, so a piece, so a piece is not vi una pieza, no, so is right, cut, to cut, to cut something by using a saw, this is to saw a piece. This is in the present, not in the past, okay? Glue two pieces together, glue. You remember boys? Well, I remember boys yeah. so, with a bottle of glue, sniffing, <laughs> Sniff, sniffing the glue, mm -hmm. right? So uh, that's glue local. <laughs> really, really, really toxic. Okay, glue two pieces together is to put some glue, put the two pieces together and 
so that they get they stick. Polish the surface. To polish the surface would be maybe this rubbing until it's uh, sheen, right? Or probably to uh, paint it with a special polish or tarnish. Okay. Then cut and fit in place. Cut and fit in place. To cut, fit in place, right? Modify a piece. Modify a piece. Sand. <clears throat> Teacher, what is sand? Uh, I don't remember the, the, the word in Spanish, but um, there is a type of paper that has sand on it. And when you want the wood to be uh, nice and smooth, you pass that paper. Or when you want to remove uh, paint, you want to remove paint, you use the sandpaper and you remove the paint by friction. Um, Lijar, in Spanish. Yes. Lijar, yeah, but Lijar, yeah, but, okay. yeah, but, but the sand, sand is arena. Yes, but uh, uh -huh, exactly. The paper has arena. And this arena makes it, makes the friction. So you pass the paper with the sand and then it creates, because it's, it's with glue, right? It's a, spe a special type of glue. So this sand creates a, a surface that is kind of rough. So when you pass this surface on another, you can remove paint, you can remove other things. In the process is called sand, okay? Sand, so you sand a piece, okay? Build a piece. Build a piece. Okay, the name says it, build a piece. Weld two pieces together. Okay. Acetylene and oxygen mixing or whatever, and then you use a torch. Or, or maybe electric welder. Or an electric, uh huh. You use a, a, a welding piece, and of course, two ends of the welding machine put two pieces together. Exactly, that would be the idea. All right, excellent. Now you're going to be doing this part in the group. There are only five items, so I don't think that it will take you too long. So let's go to the groups. Let's do that quickly and then. This is page 14, okay? Page 14. Okay, page 14. The group is opening. We are only missing Pedrina, Ricardo, René. Okay. So Ricardo, you may join now. You are in group one. Well, match the words and their meaning. Uh, well, a screw, a screw, tighten, adjust, 
And, uh, yeah, for me, for me, the the number one word is the the three the third uh, sentences join to piece of metal or plastic by heating. And the number one is in the sentence number three. Okay. Um, say to join two pieces of metal. That that one. Num number uh, sentence number three. Did you say right? Yeah. To join two pieces of metal or plastic by heating, so they each come together. Yeah. Uh, two Number. pieces with heating, so they come together. Yeah, put the number one at the third sentence. Okay. And... Um, well, uh, the next one uh, is few. Well, maybe we read all the sentences and then we can decide the other. Uh, I don't know if you can read this, the first. Ignacy. Um, in, my, in my opinion, it then the world, the number one, we need to put at the third sentences because to join two pieces of mirror or plastic by hitting is world. Yeah, as group. A screw un tornillo. Exactly. Entonces, screw is the verb. Yes. Oh, yes. Entonces, maybe the change number, in number five. two. Yeah. Yes. It's five, not, not two. Yeah. Okay. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> yes. Yeah. And this is number two, to attach one surface to another using a screw. Yes. And the Titan, 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 Titan is number is to turn a object at a screw until it's tight and it cannot be torn anymore. Yeah. Yeah. Three. Renee, do you agree with our answer? Yes. And number three. And the adjust. As a screw until it is tight, we cannot be turned anymore. Mm -hmm. 
that which I told you is uh -huh. a screw. Because you can do the, the screw. <laughs> uh -huh. On the explanation, it gonna be the 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 word or the the concept. I think. Yes. Mm. Maybe that one is number five. Number five. Okay. Hi, teacher. Present. Hello. Sorry. <laughs> Oh, Danis. Yes, I know, my. You're not yeah. asleep in your hammock yet. Yeah. <laughs> Teacher, we we try to finish. <laughs> See that you finish. Excellent. Let's go to the big group. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Yes, you're welcome. No, there are still six people missing. Yeah, okay. One more and we're ready. He is or she is going to join now. Okay, here we go. Okay. To move an object slightly so that it is in the right place or it fits better is what? Number four. Number four, perfect. It's number four. Okay. To turn an object as a screw until it is tight and it cannot be turned anymore. Yes, exactly, number two. Number three, to join two pieces of metal or plastic by heating so the edges come together. That is number? Number one. Number one, absolutely, number one. Okay, okie dokie. A pointed piece of metal with a twisted part in it called thread instead of hitting with a hammer, you push and turn in, or, and, and turn in I mean in turn, in order to fasten the pieces of, um, mm -hmm both together. What is that? Number, number three. Number, number three. three. Number three. Yeah. Yes. And the last one, to attach one surface to another using a screw. Yeah, number five. I will tell you like this, my friend. Num here is number two again. In the other is number five for the action, no. Number five. Is two, the end. Uh, number, I mean, uh, the second and the last one are actions. So mm -hmm. they are two. We don't have okay. a sentence, we don't have a sentence for number five. Okay. <laughs> because it would be, a screw, a piece of metal, and we don't have a piece of metal, right? Okay, it's a piece of metal that connects two pieces, okay, by tightening them together after being turned or, or after being turned several times. So, but no, we don't have it. So the answer would be like this. In this one, five, 
go fly away. <laughs> it is excellent. All right, my friends, let's move on. We go to process description. So let's get to this type of thing, okay? What's first? What's next? What's number one? What's number two? What's number three? What's the sequence? Number the drawings in the correct order to assemble all the parts of a bicycle. What is the first thing that you put together? Frame. What's the first thing? Sorry, my friend, Rudy. Frame. Frame. The frame, right? Yeah. Yes, because that's where you're going to put the tires. So let's say frame is number one. I'm going to change the color because this is white. I was lazy and I didn't want to do it all again. So I only took a picture of it. Okay. Let me see. Number one is frame. Wow, time to get up. So early. Time to get up. No. Time to wake up. Come on, wake up, people. All right, the next one. What's the second thing that you attach? Yes. Beg your pardon? Would you please repeat? Per favor. You play or repeat this if you play. Was maybe. Well. Oh, maybe, right? Of course. The wheels. The wheel. 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 Yeah, why not? If, for me, the wheels are the last ones, but that's okay. We can put them as number two. The wheels. And what's next? Handlebars. The handlebars, okay. The handlebars, okay, so we have number three. And what about the next one? What would be the next one? Maybe the pedals. Maybe the pedals, yeah. okay. Let's say the pedals. And then the last one? The most important, the saddle. The saddle. <laughs> well, Sometimes it's not the most important, but it's okay. Because what do you want? I mean, for example, I had a bicycle that had no saddle. It was, I was standing all the time, but I pedaled and I moved around in that bicycle. It was very old. It was a Benotto, Benotto bicycle. I don't know if they still exist. And it was, a for, it was for a girl. It was for a girl, not for boys. You know uh, how you can tell when a bicycle is for a girl? Yes, teacher is pink and he has a chonguita. No, no, not like that. Uh, how do you know that it's for a girl? It, the, this bar doesn't go here. It goes from here. So the bar goes from here, from here. And this one doesn't exist, right? It's lower to protect the ladies and so that the ladies don't have to leave the leg so much. Okay? So, well, my bicycle was like that and it was, wow, it was a bicycle. It's new information <laughs> for me, teacher. I believe that the bicycles are, the same. Uh, how do you say? They were unisex. No, they're, they're unisex. bicycles designed for girls. <laughs> Or it's a little lower. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. And the last thing is shipping. Shipping. Okay. Do you know? Okay. This is a matter of opinion. This is a matter of opinion. Do you want to know how I had put it together? My opinion, my humble opinion was first, you have the frame. And after having the frames, the handlebars, and after the handlebars, uh, you have the, the saddle. 
So I had frame, handbars, saddle, and after the saddles, I put the wheels, that's the pedals. That's the way I had it. But who says that that's the only? No, nobody. <laughs> no, it's your. Of course, you cannot play. I mean, you cannot set the wheels before the frame. That's obvious. But if it's logical, okay. Let's continue. So describe the process workers follow to assemble a bicycle. Maybe you remember first, next, etc. Okay, first they uh, assemble the frame. After that, they set the wheels or uh, okay, uh, attach attach the wheels. Okay, attach. Teacher, how you say attach? Please. Okay. And after that, okay, you say fit the saddle. Fit, fit the saddle. And after that, Next, what do you do? Oh, the saddle is not there. The saddle is here. Okay. And the next one would be what? Okay. Uh, also attach the handlebars. Okay, and then assemble. Sem uh -huh. Assemble the, the, the pedal. The pedal. Go oh, assemble. Uh -huh, the pedal. Assemble the pedals. Okay, and the last one ship it. Ship it to stores, okay? <laughs> so these will be ladies. Okay, good, let's continue. Okay, let's call roll and then we continue. Because if not, I will forget. Okay, and sell me chairs. Present teacher. Nice, very good. Anadelmi Carranza de Guzman. Present teacher. Excellent. Danny Anthony Siwenza. Okay, I know that he's trying to connect, so somehow. So I'm not going to be Mali, I'm going to put present. He doesn't say yes or no, but okay. Eduardo Ernesto Hernandez. Danis. I haven't seen him. Danis, uh -huh. Danis Adalberto Fuentes. Yes, present. Excellent. Eduardo Ernesto Hernandez. I haven't seen him yet. Guadalupe Carmen Lopez. Present, chair. Okay, nice, very nice. Jose Carlos Argueta. Present, chair. Very good, nice. Jose Ignacio Franco. Present, chair. Excellent. Nice. Jose Norberto Velasquez Lopez. Present, chair. Uh -huh, okay, I haven't seen you today, but I know that you're there. Okay, very good. Karina Beatriz okay. Diaz. Kari. Kari is not with us today, right? Okay. Karina Elizabeth Villeda. Present teacher. Excellent, very nice. Carla Veronica Vasquez. Present teacher. Excellent. Maria Emma Catalina de Rosales. She isn't with us today. Marvin eh, Alexander Bonilla. No. Okay. Miriam Claribel Jacob. Okay. 
Pedrina Iliana Gómez. Present teacher, present. Excellent, that's nice. René Osvaldo Bonilla. Present. Excellent, nice. Ricardo Alexis Fuentes. Present teacher. Excellent, very good. Yanira Guadalupe Gómez de Ríos. And uh, Don Rudy Josué Flores. Present teacher, I'm here. Nice, very nice. Okay, Doc. Sorry, I listening. I not listening mm -hmm. my name. Oh, no, don't worry. You are present. Okay. okay. Here on the list, you are present. Let me see. Pame, uh, yes, you are here. You are present. Okay. Thank you. Yes, welcome, señorita. Okay, Doc. Let's continue. See. Okay, task, reading. Okay, too much information. All right. Um, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> well, my dear ones, I'm going to send you to the groups. And in the groups, you're going to work together. And you're going to read uh, about the factors that you need to consider when pricing a product. Okay. So you have to read this. And uh, you're going to discuss the questions, okay? Read the page, page 19 and page 20. 19 and 20 and discuss questions on 21, okay? That's going to be the task for you. Okie dokie. Let's go to the groups. Okay, the groups are beginning. Let's join. Yes, Ricardo, you continue in group one. In Anadelmi, you continue in group, let me see, mm, group four, yeah. Uh, with uh, the the part uh, one and next can continue and the other can continue. There are three important factors business need to consider when pricing a product. Because of production, the market demand for the, the market demand for the product and the desired markup by the business. Okay, Ignacio, you can continue. Uh, da, da. Okay. Um, the cost of production. Sorry. 
Uh, I, I'm sharing the screen. First, first, determine how much of your fixed and variable cost going to produce, production. Where are you reading? <laughs> Where are you reading? Sorry, I, I, I am stick. What, what the? The cost of production in the yellow letter. We are going to read. Fix, fix it and variable cost determine. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Fixes and variable cost determine the ceiling price of a business fierce product. Fixes cost uh, all, all the parts. Yes. Yes. Uh, yes. The markup of a product. Regardless of the time of a small business, markup is amount you add to the cost of your product to determine the sell selling price. The markup per percentage is determined by the amount of your planning profit, the type of the product or servi service you are selling, how rapidly the product sells and the amount of service performed by the seller. Okay, repeat. It's okay for you. Repeat the. No, repeat again. Yeah. Okay, uh, change the order. Carlita, me, and okay. the last Renee. Okay. 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 There are three important factors business need to consider Consider when pricing a product, the cost of production, the market demand for the product, and the necessary markup by the business. The cost of production. Fixes and variable costs determine the ceiling price of business frames product. Fixed costs include items such as the rent for your office or manufacturing space. Variable costs include items that change with your cell volume, like labor and material. Increasing your product first determine how much of your fixes and variable costs go into producing each unit of your product. Although it, it may be a difficult calculation. A simple formula to help you is to add your total fixed cost to your total variable cost. Then you divide the total by your estimated total sale you will have. Then your cost of production per unit. Now you have to sell the product, the product for at least this amount in order to cover the cost of production. Go, Anita. Yeah. Go ahead, teacher. Teacher, we finish right now. Finish reading. So these we, questions then. Uh -huh. Yeah, we finished. We did oh, it. You we did it, right? Discussing the yeah, question. Teacher. Yes, teacher. Great. Was this teacher. Great. <laughs> the gossip. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it, it, it is my study. <laughs> the gossip because you finished. All right, excellent. <laughs> Very good. Thank you. Yes. On manufacturer space. Yeah. I think is that. Yes. Okay. The third. What are the support of burial costs? Oh. 
Items that change with your salary's volume, 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 like a labor or materials. Yes. Or no? Do you think other? No, well, no. Yes. Number three. Hey. Sleep teacher. <laughs> Danny, do you read the, the four? Can I read the number four? Yes. How does market demand the pricing of your product? Of your product? How does market demand affect the pricing of your product? Yeah. The love of the man. The love of the man. The lady. Love of the man is that the inverse relationship between the man and price. Mm -hmm. I think. Yes. Number five is what variables influence to determine the markup percent percentage. Percentage. The amount of the planning profit. It's the term aki the mark. Markup percentage is determined, but yeah, the mountain, the mountain, mountain of the plant profit. The amount of your plant profit. The amount of your plant profit. The amount of a your plant profit. The type of product or service, etc. The type of product or service you are selling. How rapidly the product sell and the amount of service performance by the sellers. Okay. Excellent, you're done. Let's go to the big group. Okay. Okay, now that everybody is here, let's continue. We're going to discuss the questions. Question number one, what are the most important factors to consider when setting a price for a product? Fixed cost the, the and cost variable cost. Okay, yes, the answer is here, right, in the first one. Yeah. 
the cost of production. Yeah. Okay. All the, the all. demand for the product and the desired markup by the business. Okay. Yes. Number two. Who wants to do number two? What are some examples of fixed costs? Carlita? Fixed cost is a uh, rent for your office uh, or manufacturing space. Okay, yes, correct. Right. These are fixed means, what's a teacher, what's the meaning of fixed costs? Means that you will always have the same. They don't change month after month, but you pay the same, same rent and the manufacturing space, okay? So, same. Okay, next question. What are examples of variable costs? Jose Carlos, what are some examples Turn back. of variable costs? Yes? Okay, yeah, let me see. Let me see the variable cost. Mm, I can't see teacher. Mm -hmm. Let me see. <laughs> I cannot see, but in the second is that. Ah, it's in the second, not in the first. Okay, yes. Okay. By right, a variable cost include item that change with your sales volume. Um, I cannot watch it, okay, 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 but um, I lose, teacher. You got, you got lost. Yes, I got lost, but I remember that in the second is that. <laughs> second. I think it's in the first. Let me see. Let me see in the first. No, 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 right, yes, in the first. Yeah, variable costs include item that change with your sales volume, like labor and materials, yeah. Exactly, that one. examples are labor and materials. Yeah. Two examples. Okay, okay. How does market demand affect the pricing of your products? When it says pricing, let me see here. Teacher, the low demand is that there is an inverse in relationship between demand and price? Yes, exactly. The higher the demand, the lower the price. No. Yeah. The higher the demand, the higher the price. Means if you want something more, it's more expensive. You set the price higher based on the demand. Okay. But if people ignore your product, means that the demand lowers, you have to lower the price for people to be interested in buying it or to have the capacity to buy it. Yeah. So, uh, yes, it's, that would be the, the idea. So, if prices fall, the demand rises. They see it from this perspective. But I would say like this. Produce a lot, you can sell cheap, cheaply. But if you produce very little, you have to sell more expensive, right? That is another thing. And um, what determines the volume of your sales? The demand. If a lot of people buy your products, you produce more. If nobody buys your products, you produce less, right? So that would be the, but, but what Carlita says here, as prices fall, demand rises, 
And as prices rise, demand falls. Yes? Teacher, how do you understand that? Okay. You set the price here. And the people say, no, it's too expensive. And people don't buy it and ignore your product. So you lower the price. Lower the price. And then people say, ah, now yes. And then they begin buying. So the demand grows. Okay, so that would be the, the next one. All right, my friends, the next question. What variables influence to determine the markup percentage? Teacher, what's the markup percentage? Okay, you will see here, it's part of the definition. It's in the last one here, okay? The market percentage of the number. Teacher, the market percentage is determined by the amount of your planning profit. The type of product or service you're selling, how rapidly the product sells, and the amount of service performed by the seller. Those are the things that determine the markup percentage. Mm -hmm. Okay, okie dokie. Uh, pronunciation, determine, determine. It's determined by, is determined by, determine. Okay, so demand, another one price, selling, selling price, okay, variable, amount, amount, okay, those would be some of the words. Now let's go to this one, setting the price. I'm going to send you to the groups the last time for you to set the prices of pupusas, refreshment, tortillas, an Uber trip in a plas in plastic plate. How you're going to determine that? You have to calculate costs, profits. So you have the markup percentage. Okay, here we go. This is page 23. Page 23. Okay, so the groups are opening so that you may discuss. Okay. The group is the groups are opening. Then is you are in group four. Danis, you are in group four. For following product, I'm going to share my screen. Uh, set the price for the following product. Uh, it was Yeah, uh, the, for the different ingredients and- Yes. Uh, the, the, for example, maybe the beans or cheese is a, it's a chip. And well, we know that in different, well, when the, the cheesy 
or the the price. Maybe the price at uh, the price price for for pupusas for yes. each pupusas. For uh, okay. Each pupusas. Okay. Um, maybe one pound one pound of cheese. Okay. How much is the cost? The I three dollars. Three dollars or four is maybe in some. Three. Three. I don't three. know because it's, I never go to the the supermarket. Mi mamá compra. René, René, René. It's <laughs> necessary. Yeah. <laughs> okay. In one pound of pupusas, how many pupusas? Do you say? Two for a pound cheese. Yeah. I think okay. that 20 pupusa because 20. Sí, 20 because it's a little cheese that you use. Only, only the taste. <laughs> yes. No, but it's very, very important to. It's an economic pupusa. <laughs> no, yeah. no, good quality, good quality pupusas. Okay, uh, twenty three dollar entry between twenty fifteen cents for pupu for it per pupusas. Okay. Fifteen, fifteen for cheese. Okay, beans. Uh, how much the cost the one pound of beans? Two dollar fixed fixing. Only fixed stick. Yes, two dollar. Maybe. Yes. Yes, maybe. It's right, Carlita. Two dollar fifteen. For me, maybe. Mm, mm, no, I, no, because the five pound of bean costs three. Three fifteen dollar. Define. Yeah, five okay. pounds. For uh -huh. pound is uh, uh, less uh less uh one dollar per pound of bean. Ah, okay, one dollar. No, one dollar, no. Uh, seven. seventeen. Yes, seventeen. seventeen. Yes. yes. Okay. E how many pupusas we get? With one pound, pound. of bean, mm, it's approximately um, fifteen pupusas or 15? more. Yes, 15? yes, because fifteen my, or fifteen, fifteen. Okay, fifteen. No, fifty, cincuenta, fifty. 50. Yes, fifty. 50. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or 50. more, maybe. <gasps> really? Yes. 60? Is approximately approximate point zero two cents for pupusas. Yeah. Point. It's very cheaper. Is, yes, this reason the, the the because we have a lot of business related to the pupusa. Yes. Uh, do pupusa is really good business. It's a cheap. Yes. Okay. And pork. What? How this? If the you most... if you buy a prepared pork, the pound of pork prepared cost is one. No, teacher. Here. Teacher, we're going to to do the list of of materials or just the the cost of dollar. Ah, okay. Okay. What you have to do is set the price. How do set the price? You have the liberty to do it, making a list and adding and making an average to see how much uh, each pupusa costs. Or, or, just, to sell, or, or just to choose the, the price. <laughs> you need no. to. <laughs> you need to analyze. Uh -huh. ah, okay. Okay, thank you. 
Corn, tomatoes, onion, cheese. What else? But for what? Oil. Oil? And because uh -huh. you need oil. Beans? Beans, yeah. Loroco. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's going to be crazy. <laughs> And then Beans, oil, loroco, cheese, onions, tomatoes. One pound yeah. of corn, teacher. Green peppers and hot peppers. Cabbage. I'm uh -huh. um, okay. Vinegar. Um, what else? Water. Yes. Water. Water. Right. Teacher, that supposed will be really expensive. Man. <laughs> it depends how many you make. Mm, yeah. Make the cheaper they get. If you make only two pupusas, wow, it's super expensive. But if you make mm -hmm. 20 pupusas, mm -hmm. if you make 50, mm -hmm. cheap. So, mm -hmm. water, vinegar, green pepper, cabbage, loroco, oil, beans, cheese. Wow, very good. Excellent. It's going to be sweet, sweet pupusas. Delicious. Delicious. <laughs> yeah. We finished, teacher. How did you set the price for the pupusas? Did you make a list of the products? Oh. Ingredients of the pupusas to see how much is going to be of each ingredient. Uh, to cal the calculate how many pupusas uh, in order to set the price. No, we decided the price according to the demand of the market, <laughs> like a, a similar. Uh -huh. Yes. But you know, for example, in this case, one dollar is for a crazy pupusa. Yes, but the you have to think one. The ingredients. Yeah, the, the cheese. Mm -hmm. See if it's feasible, and then. Yeah. yeah. It's delicious. <laughs> yeah, of course. Uh, the boys are making a list of vinegar, uh, vinegar, salt, beans, cheese, onions, tomatoes, green pepper, water, <laughs> water, yeah. beans, and everything. Uh -huh. In order to All these. in order to calculate the price. Yes. The, the pupusas the pro, uh, 50, 50 to one dollar yeah 50 cent to one dollar refreshment yeah uh one dollar one dollar to one fifty yeah 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 tortillas for per quarter for, per, per, per a quarter yes per uh, quarter yeah, Uber trip may be the uh, cubo cubo por correo. Hay que 70, confirmar la constancia. Me dicen ahí te la mando 70, 75 cents per kilometer. Maybe the Uber trip, 
Yeah, really, I never put attention about the ticket at Burke Lemon. Uh, delivery, the pupusas, uh, uh, for example, are 10 customer in uh, $1. Each customer have 15, 20 pupusas. Yeah. Mm, yes. Yeah. Yeah, maybe mm -hmm. maybe 20 pupusas for 15 customers, mm -hmm. 300 for uh, 300 for, in one hour. In uh, one hour, yes, because the customer, uh, we are very impatient for yes. the pupusas. Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay, and how, how much is the cost for the manual labor? Mm -hmm. In El Salvador, is ten dollars for all day. Yes. $10. Yes. Ten dollars. Ten the, the of of, uh, when, 15, when the misses, of sixteen dollars. When the miss when when the owner pupuseria pay good, it's possible uh, pay fifteen dollars for all day. Yes. Really? Yes. Oh, in. Fifteen dollar and for maybe... all day. But let's say that you are a good person and you're going to say twenty dollars. Oh uh, yeah. And twenty dollars and maybe the the uh, the hours more ac activity in the pupuseria right. maybe yes. five and. Nine or ten, five p.m. in nine p.m. nine nine p.m. But oh. before uh -huh. required the old preparation for the ingredient. Yes, because ingredients. Be, because the employee go to the molino prepare the flowers, the rice, uh, prepare the beans, prepare the sheet because. All mix how are prepared for each purpose. Only is possible now they don't go to the to the mill. They buy maseca or they buy something like that. Yes, oh, yeah. but, but when you pay the 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 sky of pupusas, you you the the flavor is very different. Yeah. I think, for example, in in, in the planet de renderos, is the I, I like to to eat pupusas in this place because it's the 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 flavor is good. Patty pupusas. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, la patty. It has to do with the hand of the pupusera because some pupus some pupuseras make miracles with yeah. maseca. Yeah. I tell you because I have eaten pupusas made of maseca. My goodness, delicious. And the cheese is very good. The beans, very good. And the curtido that they prepare, my. <laughs> yes, but uh, I don't have the, the explanation the how the flavor is different in pupusas when you eat uh, beans, cheese, uh, uh, separate. Mm -hmm. Everybody uh -huh. yes. is different. Different. Yeah. Yes. Ingredient X, people say. Do the pupuseras wash their hands before cooking? I know, teacher. <laughs> not teacher. That's in the favor. Not teacher. Ingredient X. Delicious. Okay. It's, it's part of the matter. This is a special ingredient, teacher. Yeah. Okay. I Now I. I have a good explanation of why the flavor is different. <laughs> no, but it's delicious. I, I love it. I love them. <laughs> and $20, how many pupusas uh, make for the day? Uh, 300 pupusas for maybe. Yes. 300. $10 for 300 
zero point zero seven cents. Yeah. In the uh, how do you say complement the salt salt salt. In the how do you say curtido. curtido. Vinegar. How do you say? Ah. Vinegar. Ah yes, the vinegar. Cabbage, cabbage, vinegar, hot pepper, eh, carrots, carrots, eh, onion, onions. How do you say vinagre? Oh, I don't know. Vinegar. Vinegar. I, uh, vinegar. 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 Mm -hmm. Jalapeño. <laughs> Jalapeño. Very delicious. Very, yes, very, very delicious. Very and how? Uh -huh. How is the amount of the investment for the for the curtido? You know, you have to Maybe. you have to decide how you're going to distribute the curtido, because yeah. if, if you put it like in the past that they left the bottle, yeah, one person goes with two or three pupusas and eat the whole bottle of curtido. Yes, it's part uh -huh. of the, 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 yes. In my case, I prefer to eat a lot of curtido. curtido. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> but, yes. And the tomato sauce also. It's very, very important the, the complement for the pupusas because the, the, the pupusas are good, but the the, the the sauce and the curtido is not so good. But no. No. But if everything is good, wow, delicious. No, delicious, delicious. I the the all foreign 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 people that eat pupusas, eat pupusas the amazing for them. Yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. But the Okay, now that everybody's here, um, how much was the price that you set for the pupusas? Mm -hmm. uh, 50 cents. 50 cents? Yes. Okay. Let's say. Fifty cents. Okay. For the refreshment, what was the price that you set? Uh, one dollar to one fifty. One dollar. Okay, let's be cheaper. Oh. But the natural refreshment. Natural refreshment. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> Suco, no. <laughs> or Tampico. <laughs> Tampico. Yeah. I have to see 20, 26 cents. <laughs> yes. How about the tortillas? How much? Tortillas, I don't know. Maybe. What? Yes. Yeah, five cents. An Uber trip? 
It depends, for kilometers. It depends on the distance, right? Kilometer? Yes, depends. It's yeah. 75 cents per kilometer. 75 cents per kilometer. Okay. So we're saying. Per kilometer. Per kilometer. Okay. And uh, plastic plates, how much? Teacher, a dozen is uh, maybe one $150. One $150. Plastic plates. Yeah. Not disposable. Not, not disposable. Disposable. Like taco blast, like, um, mm -hmm. uh, you know that some people don't, uh, don't have the, the affordability of eating in uh, yeah. plates. Mm, one dollar each, each one. A dollar each, okay, so. One dollar each. Okay, excellent. Well, ladies and gentlemen, let's go to see to the attendance, and then we're going to close. So, Ana Selmi Chavez. Present teacher. Nice. Ana Delmi Carranza de Guzmán. Dani Anthony Siguenza Ventura. Danis Adalberto Fuentes. Present. Nice. Eduardo Ernesto Hernández. I saw him around. Okay. Uh, Guadalupe del Carmen López. Present teacher. Jose Carlos Argueta. Present teacher. Very good. Jose Ignacio Franco. Present teacher. Jose Norberto Velázquez. Okay. Karina Diaz didn't come. Karina Elizabeth Villeda. Carla Veronica Vasquez. Present teacher. Excellent, nice. Maria Emma Catalina de Rosales didn't come. Eh, Marvin Alexander Bonilla didn't come. So, Miriam Clarabel Jacobo, I saw her around too. Gómez, Pamela Beatriz Posada, present, René Osvaldo Bonilla, present, excellent, Ricardo Alexis Fuentes, okay. and Rui Josué Flores, present teacher. Excellent, nice, very good. Present teacher, excuse me. I have a problem with my microphone. Okay, don't worry, my friend. I know that you're still working, so I understand. Okay, so. Okay. Thank you very much for attending tonight. Okay, um, let me see, tonight, Who's going to be with me tonight? Tonight is the ninth, Anadelmi Carranza de Guzman. So, let's see. Okay. Thank you very much for attending. God bless you all. Take care of yourselves. Please go and do the homework. And Go to bed and relax, right? And dream of angels. Okay. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Bye bye. Tomorrow is Friday. Bye. Is Friday. See you tomorrow. Tomorrow. Yes. Bye. Bye. Good night. Bye. 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 See you. See you tomorrow. Take care, man. Good night. See you tomorrow, teacher. See you tomorrow. Be good. Okay. Take care.